Al Capone death. So how did Al Capone die? Well, hmm. Al Capone death. Okay, we'll just go Al Capone death date. Hmm. Capone biography. Yes, yes, for some reason the Capone biography is taking a while to load. Who knows why? This seems to happen once you call attention to certain things. Now, wait a second. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Check it out. He was a leader of the Chicago Mafia during the Prohibition era, right? So he died apparently January 25th, 1947. 1947. He was sent to Alcatraz prison in 1934. Hmm. Um, yeah, so you know, he amassed a lot of fortunes and things. And this is amazing. 1918, Al Capone married middle-class Irish girl May Coughlin and settled down as a bookkeeper, taking a brief hiatus from his gangster role. However, <laughs> Capone soon returned to working for his old boss, Johnny Torrio following the unexpected death of, the, death of his father, Al and May had one child together, Sonny, and remained married until Capone's death. When was Capone's death? Uh, January 25th, 1947. So these people were together all that time, apparently life, education. How did he get the scar on his face? Well, he got in a scrape. And, you know, this young hoodlum slashed Capone with a knife or a razor across his left cheek, prompting the latter name Scarface. Right, right. So he drops out of school, does a bunch of different stuff, you know, he does these different things. Come on, where's his death? Isn't that what we are interested in? Because, oh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh, Al Capone also had to deal with rival gangster <laughs> Bugs Moran and his North Siders gang, who had been a threat for years. Moran had even once tried to kill Capone's colleague and friend, Jack McGurn. The decision by Capone and McGurn to avail themselves of Moran was led to one of the most infamous gangland massacres in history, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Well, I'm sure you've heard about that, and you've probably even seen the old black and white that shows those people being gunned down with those big drum magazine 45 caliber Tommy guns who caught Al Capone. Okay, uh, let's see. May 1929, Capone went to a gangster conference in Atlantic City. Um, hmm. Look, Al Capone's trial and conviction, March 13th, 1931, a federal grand jury met secretly on the government's claim that in 1924, Al Capone had a tax liability of $32,488.81. Well, the jury returned an indictment against Capone that was kept secret until the investigation was complete for the years 1925 to 1929. Now, We move on. October 6, 1931, 14 detectives, 14, 
escorted Capone to the federal court building. He was dressed in a conservative blue, what is that, serge? Maybe swage? Conservative blue swage suit? I don't know. I don't even know what that word is there. And was without his usual pinky ring and gaudy jewelry. Oh, so his ring of power. The ring of power had been divested. It's very interesting. Sorry for the little pause there. I accidentally hit the button. Ah, oh, man. Anyway. How and when did Al Capone die, question mark? Well, Al Capone died January 25th, 1947 of cardiac arrest at the age of 48. <laughs> well, no, he didn't die in prison of syphilis. Hell no, look at that. Al Capone died on January 25th, 1947 of cardiac arrest at the age of 48. Hmm. Well, he did get syphilis, and he did become confused and disoriented. And after release, Capone slowly deteriorated. Blah, blah, blah. He did all that stuff. He deteriorated at his Palm Island Palace. His wife May stuck by him till the end. So, see, he just deteriorated in Palm Beach, Palm Island, Florida. It, maybe that's why these gangster movies say, oh, Florida, that's where all the gangsters go to die, right? Because they don't die in prison in California on Alcatraz of syphilis. No, they go to Florida.